Now I have already set up get fun def and some test cases, though I had them commented out. Um, here we see that if we're looking for double and a list of definitions that just has double def, we should get double def back out. That should be easy to find. If we're looking for double when there's double and quadruple, we should still get double, or even if they're in the other order, we should still get double. But if we're looking for quadruple in these uh, list of definitions, we could get quadruple def help. What if uh, double is not in the list of definitions, or we even have an empty list of definitions? And then we're going to raise an exception with undefined function. So we've already done the data analysis. That is our example step. I'm going to interleave the uh, template and body step, since I think you get the, the way those work now. So we are going to drive the template on the interesting argument here, which is the defs argument. That is a list. So we have empty case and a cons case where we have some def and the rest of the definitions. In uh, the empty case, we've got an example for that. It turns out that uh, if you have an empty list of definitions, it doesn't matter what the name is, it's always undefined. So we will raise an error here for get fun defs, saying undefined function. And just in case uh, it's helpful to have this information, we'll also tell uh, the user what function we were looking for. So we'll just include that name. Uh, let's see. Oh, it's time. So now in the def case, uh, let's just call this def instead because I can't I can't call it def. It turns out that's a reserved word. So we'll call it df. Uh, in this case, um, what do we have? We've got df, which is a definition. Rs defs which is a list of definitions. The template tells me I almost certainly want to call get fun def recursively, and maybe s is along for the ride there. df is a list of fun def. In principle, that has a, a helper. Sorry, df is, a, is an individual fun def. Um, and in principle, that has a helper function uh, that deals with just one function definition. But in this case, uh, the relevant thing we want to do with the function definition is just get its name out. So that would be fd name df. We want to check whether that is the same as the symbol that we're looking for. And if it is, then we can just return the definition that we found. Otherwise, we keep looking in the rest of the definitions. Okay, so we've run out of dot dot dots, and we've covered all the cases here. Seems like that should work. Let's run our tests to make sure. And they do all pass.